whenever the wild type double stranded dna in a human cell is exposed to uv radiation a mutant double stranded dna with a thiamine thiamine dimer is formed this thiamine thiamine dimer is also called as pyrimidine dimer this thiamine thiamine dimer produces a dna lesion this dna lesion causes distortion of the dna double helix the dna lesion interferes with both dna replication and transcription so nucleotide excision repair pathway or nr is used by cell to repair the dna lesion the nr pathway requires about 30 proteins in the first step of nr pathway a protein complex containing proteins like xpc 23b and centrin 2 or CTEN2 recognizes the DNA lesion containing thiamine thiamine dimer. XPC stands for Geroderma pigmentosum C. The genes involved in NER pathway are XPA, XPB, XPC, XPD, XPE, XPF and xpg if any of these seven genes undergoes mutation then it will give rise to a rare genetic disorder called as geroderma pigmentosum the protein complex containing xpc 23b and cten2 then recruits a multiprotein complex called as TF2H. The TF2H is a transcription factor. The multiprotein complex TF2H contains 10 proteins. Some of these proteins act as helicase subunits. These helicase subunits are present in their inactive form. The inactive helicase subunits binds to the ATP. In a hydrolysis reaction, the ATP forms an ADP and a PIE. Due to this ATP hydrolysis, the helicase subunits become active. ADP and PIE are then released to the nucleoplasm. The active helicase subunits of multiprotein complex TF2H then partially unwinds the DNA double helix. XPG and RPA proteins then bind to the protein complex. The XPG and RPA protein then further unwind and destabilize the DNA double helix. As a result, a bubble of approximately 25 nucleotides is formed. A protein complex containing proteins like XPF and ERCC1 then binds to the protein complex. The XPF makes the first cut while the XPG makes the second cut in the DNA strand containing thymine thymine dimer. The enzyme system hydrolyzes 22nd phosphodiester bond on 5' prime side of the defective strand. The same enzyme system hydrolyzes 6th phosphodiester bond on 3' prime side of the defective strand. Due to this dual incision or cut, an oligonucleotide containing 27 to 29 nucleotides is formed. 16 polypeptides are used for this dual incision in eukaryotes. After the dual incision, the whole enzyme complex and the oligonucleotide containing 27 to 29 nucleotides 
are released from the DNA duplex. The gap in the mutant double-stranded DNA is then filled by DNA polymerase delta or epsilon or kappa. The DNA polymerase epsilon is used in the replicating cell to fill the gap in the mutant double-stranded DNA. DNA polymerase delta and kappa are used in the non-replicating cells to fill the gap in the mutant double-stranded DNA. After filling the gap, DNA polymerase delta or epsilon or kappa leaves the mutant double-stranded DNA leaving behind a gap. DNA ligase then binds to the gap region, seals it and then leaves the DS DNA. As a result, the cell regains its wild type DNA. Human defective NER pathway also results into cocaine syndrome or CS. The symptoms of cocaine syndrome are impairment of physical and neurological development. The individuals with CS are highly photosensitive. Individuals with CS are not predisposed to tumor formation. The NER pathway is a primary repair way for many types of lesions including cyclobutane pyrimidine dimers, 6 for photoproducts, base adducts like benzo alpha pyrin guanine. Benzo alpha pyrin guanine is formed in the DNA by exposure to cigarette smoke. Please like, subscribe and share.